Sporty Kate was in her element as she and William kicked off a surprise two-day tour of Northern Ireland with a visit to a Belfast football stadium. The Duchess of Cambridge, 37, couldn't keep the smile from her face as they joined excited schoolchildren for a kick about at Windsor Park. Keen to join in the fun, the Duchess ditched her 1,200 pounds Carolina Harara coat and 199 pounds Hilde L.K. Bennett boots for a 125 pounds Ralph Lauren cricket jumper and 80 pounds New Balance trainers. The couple playfully jostled for possession as they went head to head in a mini match, where Kate impressed with her skills. Dozens of well-wishers turned out to greet the royal at the stadium, including a cheeky toddler who caught Kate's eye. The royal mother of three cooed over the spirited youngster, who was dressed in a waistcoat and bow tie, and cracked a smile when he stuck out his tongue. The couple will spend Wednesday and Thursday carrying out a number of engagements in Belfast, Fermanagh and Ballymena. In keeping with royal visits to Northern Ireland, details were not released in advance and the itinerary was not disclosed for security reasons. Out on the Windsor Park turf, the royals joined in some training exercises with local schoolchildren. Kate and William both had a go at dribbling drills, to the delight of the young footballers. Kate ran around a marked out square keeping the ball under control and also jogged up and down on the spot. She then joined William in a small-sided game, each playing on different sides. Both participated with gusto, running about with their young teammates, passing and tackling during the well-spirited encounter. During the visit, the couple learned more about the Irish Football Association's community football projects and its work breaking down some of Northern Ireland's traditional divides through sport. On arrival at the National Stadium at Windsor Park, the couple were greeted by scores of cheering schoolchildren. William and Kate stopped to chat with the crowds, with the Duchess being presented with a number of bunches of flowers. Former Spurs and Arsenal goalkeeper Jennings is Northern Ireland's record caps holder, with 119 appearances during a career that took in the 1982 and 1986 World Cup finals. William and Kate were shown a bronze cast print of the stoppers celebrated safe hands as they walked through the stadium's heritage center. The couple will then travel to the Roscor Youth Village Charity in Kofermana, which is a residential activity center for children referred by social workers. It is the third time the couple have visited the region together. Their final visit of the day will be to Belfast Empire Hall to celebrate inspirational young people who are making a real difference in Northern Ireland. On previous visits, the couple attended a garden party at the royal residence at Hillsborough Castle, Company Down, in June 2016, when they mingled with many of the 2,500 invited guests. Five years earlier, they visited Northern Ireland just weeks before their wedding. On that occasion, Kate tossed pancakes at Belfast City Hall and hammered in fence posts at Greenmount Agriculture College in Company Antrim. The sporty duchess could be seen smiling as she put her best foot forward, tackling skills dressed in athletic leggings and a cricket-style jersey under a dark puffer jacket. Kate and Wills, 36, were playing with the Irish FA Shooting Stars, a program which encourages young girls to play football. The scheme is also aimed at supporting young people who are not in employment, education or training, and supports volunteers when dealing with mental health issues. Earlier they were seen greeting youngsters and adults who lined up to greet them and present the royal pair with flowers. Kate wowed in a 1,200 pounds Carolina Herrera coat and black LK Bennett shoes before swapping her glamorous attire for sporty chic sportswear, complete with 80 pounds New Balance foam trainers. After their sporting exertions the royal pair will head to the Roscor Youth Village Charity in Kofermana, a residential activity center for children referred by social workers. Their final visit of the day will be to Belfast Empire Hall to celebrate inspirational young people who are making a real difference in Northern Ireland. Please like, comment, and subscribe to channel. Thank you for watching my video.